Spinal metastatic lesions are the most common tumors encountered by spinal surgeons. As with procedures for degenerative disease, MIS techniques have been applied to minimize muscle and soft tissue destruction in procedures for tumor resection. Here, we present a 23-year-old female with radiculopathy and foot drop secondary to nerve root compression by epidural metastasis from Ewing sarcoma. This patient had previous resection and instrumentation for this tumor. In this video, we demonstrate a palliative tumor debulking and nerve root decompression utilizing an MIS approach. The patient is positioned prone on a reverse surgical bed on a radiolucent Wilson frame. Pressure points are padded and the patient is draped in a standard fashion. The incision is planned 1.5 centimeters off the midline and 1.6 centimeters in length targeting the disc space subadjacent to involved level under fluoroscopic guidance. The K wire is inserted past the fascia targeting the disc space under fluoroscopic guidance and docked on the lamina just medial to the facet. Serodilators are exchanged over the guide wire to the appropriate depth. A 1.6 centimeter tubular retractor is then docked. The soft tissues are carefully dissected off the underlying lamina. The high speed drill is utilized to remove the caudal end of the rostral lamina down to the depth of the ligamentum flavum. The laminectomy is continued rostrally past the insertion of the ligamentum flavum until epidural fat is visualized. The kersen rongeur is utilized to resect the ligamentum flavum. This resection is extended until the lateral edge of the thecal sac is visible. Resection of the dorsal epidural tumor is performed with ball tip probe and kerosene. Next, the thecal sac is retracted medially and protected to expose the ventral tumor. Ventral tumor is dissected with ball tip probe, pulled into the field, and resected with kerosene rongeur. The exiting nerve root is identified and decompressed with tumor resection and widening of the foramen. When tumor resection is complete, meticulous hemostasis is achieved with bipolar cautery. Surgifoam and gel foam can also be used. Bony hemostasis is aided by bone wax. Next, a multi-layer closure is accomplished. Interrupted ovicro suture is utilized to close the fascia. Inverted interrupted two ovicro sutures are utilized to close the subcutaneous and dermal layers. Serous strips and mastocell are used to approximate the skin.